Mamena wase na memo wakwa ba na mefamra breko my tv so ohwe eno na wode comment ni e ba na oshe na pacha wane da na wafollow yen e wo facebook e na youtube edi ame jeso ene ifa kwaku aboro we mamena wase na memo wakwa ba na mefamko sekwa e no e wote ime insine mo e wabuno mante mo Ananu yi ena se kwa ma hene o sabele ma debre a jeyi a wotosu mi yinu. Wane mpeni mfo etina se eshe wamo efa. A wamo etina se etu wa safre mpeni mfo. Eni niti ne kukule ma hudu pi na. Ma ubufle chichi ni abenche. Eye amanyo fo endi se manyo kumpeni mfo. Empi pe manyo kumpeni mfo. Na wabu nina abi pi mu ewa se kwa kronu mu. Ewa tae mainsini mu ewa bono mante mu. Na eno ena mpeni mfo niti ya mba eno. Na eye bono regional minister ima ame jestina uusi uba na hene. Sanso ena omempenda da a wani wano eni tu frankade ama edi sema yoku. Eh, John Drama eni Mahama, the former president, his excellency. Waba bi pia mwe uchumedi na seneno. Ena omempenda da John Drama eni Mahama wadi tu vya se. Ana mwutu ubi ombiti miyotu abu ama afiwi abaye betu nabiti miyayi wamo diyano ombitu esanse. Ananu wa isi eko tuwa base wamo enwe ma wamo omepa omempeni ako nyo edi nambe sa hudu ombiti miyato tuwe no eye balote no. Wamo eko yi number 8. Yano na msuma zisi breaking the 8 ya MPP ya manyoku wamo ekano. Ene wamo IG8 na a breaki edi ya shambutuma wamo desine. Ne mumu mpenifuo. Se kwa mai hene eni mpenifuo kambi ya bemu wamo nka santri isi. Na jume diya hudua wudi na vote register huon sema abetuwa mwantensu ya ne. Ako ya dawi na kwa de trap ya na itufia amamfuwa ni adeshi ya nono. Wamo entu nifuo na wunti futu no. Na mwane kubasa batu nuhu yene basa basi ya duwe bia akoswa mami ya hudua no. Ebi niti mesi wa mai gane mo. Na yanko na yekutie wa mpenda da John Drameni Mahama. Nini sema auditu uja. Ebra na waka saa ewo eye sekwa afasha na seno. Ochile mu sii. Nanano. Revered traditional leaders. My brothers and sisters of sekwa. Invited ladies and gentlemen. I wish to express my thanks for your kind invitation to be part of this August festival, celebrating the bountiful blessings of God on the Serpa traditional area. On behalf of the party that I lead, the National Democratic Congress, I wish Osaberma and his whole kingdom Afishapau. I think come back to you. Festivals such as this YAM festival are not only an opportunity to give thanks to God for a bountiful harvest, but they are also an opportunity for citizens of the traditional area to return home and reconnect with their relatives. But above all, it is also an opportunity for us to contribute to the development of our home area. This festival comes at a time when our dear nation finds itself in a severe economic crisis. Poor choices that were made by the incumbent MPP government have landed Ghana into a serious debt trap and has created a severely unstable macroeconomic environment which is marked by high inflation and a depreciating currency, the city. This has resulted in severe hardship for our citizens and has created a very unfavorable environment for businesses. Taxation is high and is crippling Ghanaian and foreign businesses. Foreign direct investment has declined significantly and many foreign businesses are relocating to our neighboring countries. But the beauty of democracy is that every four years, we have the opportunity to go to the polls to make a choice. Let us remember 
that elections have consequences. And we must be very careful in the choices that we make. Ghana is a resilient nation and we must not give up hope. Our best years are still ahead of us. The NDC in office invested in significant infrastructural development in the Bono region and also in your uh, uh, in Sequa traditional area. Important progress was made on the road network in this region. Unfortunately, the succeeding MPP administration has not shown any commitment to continue the work that we started. And so in many places, even the work that we did on the roads has deteriorated as a result of neglect. The Berkum Sequa and Soko Road is in a deplorable condition. The Sampa Sequa Road is in equally bad shape. Sadly also, facilities that were commenced at the Nancy and Midwifery Training School, which Nana complained about, have also been abandoned over the last eight years. The multi-purpose administration block, which contains six lecture theaters, three science laboratories, and one library. This project was at the roofing level when I, the government I led exited power. Unfortunately, this all-important project has been abandoned for the last eight years. On Kurama, SHS is a model senior high school that was established by the NDC administration. It is arguably one of the best senior high schools in the Bono region. During my term in office, we provided it with many facilities, which has put it at the top of the ladder in SHSS, not only in Bono region, but in the country. During our period in office, during our period in office, we ensured that we extended electricity to as many communities as possible in this area. Before then, the whole of the Tyne district and adjoining districts were in darkness. As I've said in my earlier addresses, and also it is contained in our manifesto, which we launched in Winneba recently, I am going to prioritize the completion of abandoned and ongoing projects such as the project I referred to. I'm going to prioritize the completion of abandoned and ongoing projects, such as the project I referred to at the Sequa Nursing and Midwifery Training School. There are many other important programs we intend to execute in the event that the Almighty God and the people of Ghana grant us their favor. One of the important ones is our pledge to set up agro-industrial processing facilities in all the regions. In the Bono and Bono East regions particularly, it is our intention to set up cashew processing factories so that we can take advantage of the huge quantities of cashew that are produced in these two regions. The processing of cashew in the regions will lead to a better price to be paid to the farmers in order to encourage them to look after their farms properly. It is our intention to set up a cashew development board which will be similar to the Coco board. This board will be started with seed funding of $20 million so that they can buy and warehouse the cashew.
that our farmers are producing for export. This would lead to a better producer price for cashew farmers in these two regions. Nana spoke about peace in the elections. I wish to assure your Saberima and your elders that NDC is committed to peace. And it's because we are committed to peace that we are asking the Electoral Commission to sit up and do its work well. We have raised issues with the voters' register because the voters' register is at the heart of any transparent and free and fair election. You cannot have a free and fair election when you have a defective voters' register. And that is why we want all the conditions for a free and fair election to be met before we go into the election of 7 December 2024. I wish to assure Osaberima that I and my party will do our part to ensure that these elections are peaceful, they are transparent, they are free, and they are fair. And it is my hope that the governing party will make the same commitment and will commit to free, fair, and transparent elections. We always talk about peace, but without justice, there can be no peace. We will not make any attempt to subvert the will of the people by rigging the election, but we also will not allow any person, any person or party, to attempt to rig this election. The will of the Ghanaian people must be expressed freely and fairly. And when this is done, definitely there will be peace. Nanano, recently we went to the Electoral Commission to ballot for our positions on the ballot paper. At the end of the balloting process, I was placed at number eight. Long live the Sequa traditional area and long 